Uh, this morning, uh, we're, we're going to have uh, the next uh, thing on our program is an initiation, and uh, uh, it's going to be for Rishi. Rishi has to go back a little early because uh, the weather's not cooperating. The, the bridge is a little bit flooded, and it's getting, from what we know about the weather, it's going to get even worse. So we'll continue. Uh, if, if those of you who want breakfast, go ahead and, and uh, we'll, we'll do the initiation. So, you ready? I'm ready, if you're ready. <laughs> you know, I, I just want to say one thing about initiation. Uh, it's, the word initiation in English means it's like a beginning, it's the start of something. And some people take initiation as the end of something, that they become a full-fledged, card-carrying Hare Krishna. Well, it's not like that. What, what it really is, it's the beginning of, of spiritual uh, knighthood or beginning of spirituality. And, and that's to be taken that way. One takes a certain vow to, to as we read every day, to follow the spiritual master, to, to uh, do everything he says and take other vows. And, and that's really important. So uh, uh, that's as much as I want to say. And, and, and Rishi has been around the movement for several years now. His mother is an initiated disciple of the late Bhakti Charu Maharaj, and she's watching this whole thing if, uh, in England. They live in England, the parents. And uh, uh, he's, he, he has been practicing medicine on Ocean Shores Clinic for several years. And uh, he's been coming to read Chaitanya Chaitamrita and other uh, scriptures to me for about a year now, uh, to my house. And uh, I think he's uh, very qualified to be initiated today. So Rishi, can you sit? Or stand, that's, that's Rishi. So I'm going to give you your beads now. Oh, okay. We have to make sure technology is cooperating. Can I proceed? Can I proceed? <laughs> you, and your name is Rishi Shonaka. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes Shonaka Rishi, a uh, speaker of the Bhagavatam, is addressed as Rishi Shonaka. So you can recite what are the four principles? Yes, Mark. No illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling, no meat eating. And uh, what about chanting the Maha Mantra? Chanting 16 ra- minimum of 16 rounds a day. And in addition to uh, the, the uh, vows you've just taken, I have a few additional requirements. One is to stay in ISKCON, support, stand by, and never leave ISKCON. Two is to read Srila Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Chaitamrita, Nectar Devotion, and Sri Ishopanishad at least three times in the next seven years. 
at least 30 pages every day or their electronic equivalents and generally follow instructions as far as possible and accept the advice and counsel of your immediate ISKCON authorities. So I'll give you that. You can keep that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> So I think you have to depart before you get uh, stranded here because of the floods? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. Okay. It's safer than home. So uh, you, can, you can tell a little bit about what your plans are and what your service is going to be, oh. if you would like. <laughs> yep. Thank you for coming here. Thank you, Mark, for the initiation. Uh, my service is to uh, continue to serve you. And here's a bag for your bees. Thank you. To continue to serve you. Um, uh, I'm sorry, bring you to you and also help me make you. Um, so it's devoted here, trying to serve um, make you. Thank you. 